Hey everyone, welcome to Indie Drop News. Here is what's new this week for all of you indie game lovers. The Aftercharge PC beta is now live. So yeah, you can go check that out. Let's see, I'm gonna click on this here so you can see the GIF. Anyway, join them, uh, go to AfterchargeKeys.com, check the game out, it's a 3v3 first person shooter type game. Yeah, it's just really, really awesome. They did say that um, due to a couple of things like Xbox not contacting them back about the beta, they were unfortunately not able to put the Xbox One beta out this weekend. They plan on doing it maybe at some point when Xbox does talk to them regarding this, but as of right now, it's only the PC beta. You can enjoy the game for 72 hours this weekend. Uh, I would definitely advise you to go play it. It's a lot of fun. I've played it, and yeah, grab a friend or two and wreck some havoc, man. Tell you what, it's pretty great. Okay, so I was reading it a little bit. I for always forget to scroll up. <laughs> Radical Fish Games has some good news and some not so good news. Their Ninja Skin DLC has been released. I bought it. It was 99 cents. That's really nothing. And it looks pretty freaking awesome. Leah in this sweet looking Ninja Skin. I really, really like this. So yeah, you can use this skin to run around do some battle with, and even see her in this ninja skin in the menu screen. But yeah, that's all the good news I can give you on that. About this Switch version. They had a number of requests for the Switch version to obviously come about sooner than later. Everybody wants this on the Switch, and I understand, I get it, and they totally understand too. They hear it, everybody. They hear it every single day, they elaborate, but Due to the fact that the game was developed in HTML5, the Switch does not run HTML5, which means they would have to take this code and have a porting studio or try to do it themselves, which takes a lot of resources, a lot of money, a lot of time, something they really don't have right now at this point because they are still tinkering with the game, getting it to where it should be. But anyway, they basically bury the hatchet saying, sorry, but CrossCode will be coming to Switch when hedgehogs or hedgehogs learn to fly. They're not denying, but they aren't saying it will ever come either. So it's kind of up in the air. It might come at some point. Maybe we'll see a software or firmware update on the Switch allowing HTML5 to run. I don't see it personally. And who knows with that Switch Pro that we might see, Maybe we'll see it, but I highly doubt it again as well. They didn't deny PS4 and Xbox One. They, they, I'm pretty sure they did say it was still coming to Xbox One and PS4. But as far as the Switch is concerned, sorry everyone, it doesn't look very likely. Some good news now. Stardew Valley had released their multiplayer update on Switch. So everyone that was anticipating this release, well... Now it is live. It is now live, everyone. And with this release, brings a handful of awesome, awesome stuff. Four-player online co-op, as well as four-player local co-op. So you can grab, if you don't have that Nintendo Switch online service, you can grab a, a couple of friends, have them come over, more like a LAN party, you could say, and play with them locally, which is pretty awesome. With the Nintendo Switch features, You'll be able to communicate via the Switch online voice chat. Or if you don't use that like me, you can use the new uh, chat box feature with colored text and nearly 200 custom Stardew Valley emojis. Single player content got some awesome, awesome additions as well. For three days in winter, you'll be able to visit a traveling festival called the Night Market. There are now new character events to encounter, including some secret events triggered by certain conditions. In winter, farmers may encounter a strange event, which activates a new secret type of collection. And finally, your horse can now wear hats. Yeah, little cosmetic things like that are really, really nifty. So uh, next up for them on the bucket list, and they're, they're making this a priority, a top priority. 
The PS4 and Xbox One versions are coming. Um, they're working with Sickhead Games to get these out to everyone as soon as possible. And he says, thank you for your patience. It is coming. Don't worry. This comes by the way of Digirati Blog. Omega Strike coming to Nintendo Switch. It's a mutant killing Metroidvania. And it's coming to Nintendo Switch the 24th of December with a 20% launch discount. So... It was already released on PS4, Xbox One, and Steam. And if you don't know anything about the game, it is a, well, like I said, a Metroidvania game with a huge open-ended world and multiple playable characters. As Dr. Omega and his mutant armies march toward world domination, only a few brave freedom fighters stand in his way. Overcome deadly enemies and learn new abilities for your, for your heroes, or I was going to call them... Um, yeah, freedom fighters again. Uh, explore the world, find its hidden treasures, and upgrade your weapons to defeat Dr. Omega and his evil henchmen. Yeah, this game looks like a lot of fun, I would say. So, if you're interested in those pixel art, um, kind of shmup, metal slug inspired, you could say, games, I would definitely check this one out. Big, big news here. Big, big, big news here. The last, over the last couple of weeks, we have had Epic Games announce their new storefront, and now we have Discord kind of stepping up to the plate and talking about their storefront and what's changing there as well. The biggest thing that's coming out of this is that 90-10 revenue split for developers. That's what they're planning on for this. One thing about... Um, one thing about the, the Discord store as well is for Nitro users, you pay $10 a month, you get a handful of free games, and you get all of the Nitro benefits. With that also said, I mean, like they said, 200 million people have used this Discord chat to play uh, games with their friends and obviously just to, to chat and have conversation with a bunch of people make their own servers, developers have their own servers to talk to their fans or whoever plays the games to update, help update the game correctly, if there's any bugs. Discord is used by a ton of people, and I've seen over the last year just a handful of developers have their own server, so that way they can communicate with everyone. It makes sense that the Discord store updates this and gives developers what they rightfully deserve. A lot of developers had said that... Um, 30% of the, the shares didn't come to them almost because of the fact that uh, it was just, it was like 30% of that had to go into distributing the game. So that's really not the cost. Discord did some digging. It doesn't cost 30% to distribute the games in 2018 or, well, 2019 for that matter now. After doing some research, uh, they discovered that Discord, they can build an amazing developer tools run them, and give developers the majority of their revenue share. So starting 2019, they are going to extend access to the Discord store and their extremely efficient game patcher by releasing a self-serve game publishing platform. No matter what size, from AAA to single-person teams, developers will be able to self-publish on the Discord store with 90% revenue share going to the developer. The remaining 10% covers our operating costs, blah, 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 blah. So, wow, this is some really, really big news. I would go as far as to say this is going to do even better than Epic because Epic only has one free game per couple of weeks for the consumer and only offers 88%, 88-12% to the developer. This is 90-10%. You have the Nitro subscription service, which has a handful of free games. It just works out. It seems like it works out way better. And the storefront, I mean, pe people use Discord. Obviously, people use Discord. So I'm not going to get into it any more than that, other than saying this is awesome for developers and consumers, gamers alike. So, wow, a lot of awesome news this week, I would say, other than the cross code thing. <laughs> but, you know... You live and you learn and you do what you can. So thanks again for joining me, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on various social platforms. Join my Discord server. I'd love to chat with you about these news bits. 
what you think about them. Um, I've been working diligently to get the Discord server up and running so everyone can be invested and feel involved with everyone. But anyway, again, thank you so very much for watching this this week. I look forward to bringing you more news, more good news, that is, next week.